not new year new me it's new year better me <laughs> honestly the first time that i heard that i was feeling inspired i'm not gonna be a new person but i'm definitely gonna be a better version of myself now that i've heard it a few times it's, the sound is kind of trending on instagram reels i'm over it and it's kind of cringe <laughs> but it works it's still it's a good sentiment it's a good idea i think like nothing beats new year new me as like a slogan kind of like catch liney <laughs> phrase but new year by me is definitely what i'm aiming for this year even though i do now find it kind of cringeworthy so this video is going to be about my new year's resolutions my goals and that's what we're gonna talk about. This is lemonade and a gin glass. 2023, I didn't really hit my goals. I didn't really do much of the things that I wanted to do. I think of it as like a prep year, where I was kind of like preparing and getting ready for 2024. The majority of my goals are actually like health, fitness, and weight loss based. So if that's not the kind of thing that you're into, or if that's not really relevant to you, uh, feel free to click off the video um i'm not gonna be talking about calories or anything or like weight really but in case that is something that you struggle with or you don't want to listen to yeah i won't be offended <laughs> uh, if, but if it is something that you're interested in make sure you stick around subscribe if you enjoy the video so last year i posted a 2023 goals and vision board and i spent all this time making a vision board i spent time trying to like decide on what goals I was gonna hit. I also did a word of the year or two. I think it was growth and consistency, which fair enough. I think that would be my year words again <laughs> because honestly, 2023 went so fast. I don't even know where the year went. I think that's partly why I feel like I didn't achieve much because the year was so fast. If I remember my goals correctly, I wanted to read 30 books tick i did that one that is also going to be a goal this year but it's not like a main focus that's just like a it's probably going to happen anyway just set goodreads goal of 30. one was to save three thousand pounds pretty sure i didn't do that but i also haven't really been tracking or trying to save a certain amount one was to run a 10k which <laughs> oh. i never even finished the couch to 5k i didn't run 5k and i just gave up with going to the gym and running and everything um about halfway through the year so that one definitely did not happen and there was another one what was it oh the other one was to reach 10,000 subscribers which i did not do i had only just hit 1000 when i made the video and now i think i've got 1500 so i gained 500 subscribers when i wanted to gain 9000 subscribers which just like i knew it was ambitious at the time but i didn't have a clue like how uh i would actually perform in that sense and what can i say growth takes time so yeah those were my last year's goals i don't know i feel like i wasn't super focused and i just kind of like decided them and went in and didn't really think about them again and i didn't look at my vision board again I'm gonna try and learn from last year i have made another vision board for this year and i will show you it now just so you can see what i'm working with but i put stuff on there that i'm definitely gonna do taylor swift's concert tick uh new york tick i mean i haven't booked it but i'm going <laughs> um and then stuff like going to see the ballet and then i've got like weights i've got vegetables i've got pilates like i've got stuff in there that i actually really want to do hopefully that is a bit more inspiring this year than last year's one. Like I said, this year's goals are gonna be a lot more health and fitness related. I am saying like it's weight loss related just because I don't want people to think that like I'm doing all of these things just with the intention of being like the most healthy person ever. Like I do want to lose some weight and I don't want it to feel like just losing weight by coincidence that I've changed my lifestyle. It's like, it is what it is. And I don't think it's a bad thing to wanna lose weight and I don't think people should um, kind of hide behind health to do so like it's a big topic there's a lot to say on it i did make a video about my weight gain like a year or two ago <laughs> and i feel like from that point i've not really done the things consistently enough to actually lose weight so that is my goal for this year is to actually like stick to my things and so a lot of my goals are based around that i don't have a specific weight goal because it's not that deep i've written down my goals and i've written down how I'm gonna achieve them and hopefully it works. <laughs> 
manifesting, you know, writing things down. So my first goal is around food. I've always, always, always wanted to be someone who reaches for healthy options. Like I want a snack, I'm gonna grab an apple rather than grabbing like a vegan sausage roll. And I think I'm very much in the junk food vegan trap. When I first went vegan, we didn't have options. Like I couldn't go to McDonald's and buy a burger. I couldn't buy a meal deal from Tesco. Like I just couldn't buy convenient vegan fast food. And so I had to cook everything at home, make everything from scratch, except when I was in London. And I used to come to London like once every other weekend. During that weekend, I would visit like vegan restaurants. And now I live in London, but even not living in London, like the vegan options are everywhere. They're so easy to get. And I love that. I think it's great. Like I think it's so good that we live in a world where you can just buy vegan chicken slices. But I, I just wish to be someone who is just naturally healthy. And like, I don't want a chocolate bar. I want some grapes, you know? <laughs> someone who like craves healthy foods. I think I need to just learn to do that. Trick myself into believing I'm that kind of person. And eventually I will be that kind of person. I just think I need to switch my mindset a bit. But yeah, I just think if I force myself into it at the start, eventually it will become a habit. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm trying to eat more protein, which is gonna keep me fuller and also plant-based protein. So I will still be eating vegan meats because they're so good and they do have protein in them. But I also wanna be eating like more tofu, more like beans, like chickpeas, lentils, that kind of stuff where I am getting like a varied diet rather than eating beige all the time. And on the same vein of not eating beige all the time, more fruits and vegetables. I've done a few of these like challenges. I did a 50 day challenge, I did 75 soft challenge. And in both of those challenges, my like diet was to eat fruit and veg with every meal. I thought about doing a challenge this year and I was like, do you know what? I can't keep doing challenges. I just need to live my life in that way. The whole year is the challenge. <laughs> More fruits and veggies, more protein. I have filmed a few of the things that I've been eating this week, so I will share that with you now. One way that I'm planning on getting more fruits and vegetables in my diet is by using my slow cooker. I got given my slow cooker, I think like three or four years ago. <laughs> it was definitely before I moved to London. I can't even think how long I've been living in London now, but I think three or four years ago, I got given a slow cooker for Christmas by my mum. This is the like, part that goes inside. I'm just gonna fill it with vegetables, some chickpeas, some onions, whatever frozen veg I've got, add some tin tomatoes, some spices, let's see what happens. It's gonna be like a stew, I guess. And I'm gonna take that to work for the next three days. And anything that doesn't fit in the containers, like three days worth of containers, I'll put it in the freezer. Just microwave at lunchtime and then it's like an easy, quick lunch. I mean, quick as in, I'm just gonna throw it all together and leave it alone for like five or six hours and hopefully it'll taste good. But I think that's what I wanna do going forward, at least during the winter. I can't make different food every day and I don't wanna keep eating like quick things, like meal deals and stuff if I don't have lunch. Like I just wanna have it all prepped and ready. So I think this is really gonna help. Oh my God, I slammed the thing down. So yeah, basically the key here is preparation. Preparation is key and I'm gonna use frozen veggies, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Obviously I could use fresh ones, but it's New Year's Day and everything's closed. <laughs> so I'm gonna use what I've got. Let 
Today's meal prep is happening in the morning, which really I would rather do it in the evening, but I'm a tired girl. So I'm making a breakfast, tofu scramble. I feel like I don't have that much time, so I'm gonna use like a slap, slap chop. Sorry, I don't know why. It, you don't have to do it that aggressively. Um, so yeah, I've got some oil in the pan and I'm ready to start chopping. I feel like I've got face tracking on. <laughs> oh my camera is, it takes some getting used to. I think I should just stay still. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just chop up some veggies, scramble some tofu. I kind of wish I had some toast, but I don't. I might do a couple hash browns just to have with it today. And then, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I'm gonna have tofu scramble for the next couple days, breakfasts breakfasts breakfast so I'm gonna do mushrooms onions and peppers scrambled tofu salt pepper black salt paprika garlic granules and that's it So good. I mean, it took longer than I thought it was going to take. I'll be leaving my house a bit longer, but luckily Leo can put the leftovers in the fridge for me. I feel like it, for me personally, I feel like waking up earlier, not snoozing my alarm, which I've been quite good at recently. Today was a day when I actually so badly, so, so, so badly wanted to go back to sleep. But I got up, I turned off my alarm and I just stayed standing up for like a minute and just <laughs> contemplate life <laughs> and then I got ready and like now I feel fine like I feel awake and I think I feel more awake than I would if I snoozed which is like the main reason for me not snoozing but yeah I think waking up a bit earlier and being able to have like a cooked breakfast or like take time to make breakfast is worth it So I have been doing more savory breakfast, but I've run out of tofu and the shop is coming in an hour and I, I don't have time to wait. <laughs> I need to have my breakfast. So I thought protein pancakes is the next, next best thing. To be honest, I don't have that much. It's too much milk. I don't have that much uh, breakfasty type foods. So I was quite happy when I found this. That she just powder milk whisk I think this is the best one protein warp is the best one that I've tried I also really like their protein powders but you don't have to have protein powders I want to eat more protein that's one of my goals so that's why I'm doing protein pancakes but I could have just a normal pancake I've got a super ripe banana I don't know if I should mash it in or if I should just fry them separately tough decisions <laughs> These actually don't look that great on camera, but I forgot to film the clip. I mean, I thought I was filming and I wasn't when I was drizzling the chocolate, so this is what you get, I'm sorry. <laughs> so my second goal revolves around movement, getting in my steps. I know people bang on about hitting 10,000 steps every day. It's hard to hit a step goal. One of my resolutions is to walk halfway to work. So instead of getting the train from the area that I live in, I'm getting the train further down the line. The walk is about half an hour to 40 minutes. And I wanted that every work day. So that's four or five days a week. It's more than I was doing before. So I definitely know that it's increasing my steps because before I was just walking 10 minutes and getting the train from there. I guess it's just a test. <laughs> well, I actually 
And then I also want to be consistent in the gym. I want to go to the gym three or four times a week, working out on a program. I've got an old program that I bought. I think I bought it in 2018, when I was like really in my fitness era, before I had my YouTube channel. Like I was really consistent and I was going to the gym. I didn't even, you know, talk about it. I just was doing it. <laughs> and now I talk about it and I don't do it. I want to just stick to that. I got one upper body day one lower body day and one total body day. And then eventually you add in a fourth day, which is gonna be posterior chain, which is basically like your back and your bum and just <laughs> the whole back of your body. So that that is to come, I think in three weeks time. This is actually a habit that I started before the new year. I joined a gym, which is like closer to my work rather than close to my home. And I started going to the gym at lunchtime to fit it into my day. And so far it's working pretty well. And I'm glad that I started the habit before the new year because it doesn't feel so much like I'm doing everything at once. like main health fitness weight loss goals food and movement I mean people always just say eat less move more but I think it's a lot more complex than that at the end of the day it's a lifestyle you need to learn to live in a certain way and I'm sure I used to live this way <laughs> but I just got lazy I don't want to live that way anymore so in addition to those goals I'm also trying to not snooze my alarm when I wake up, which has been a goal of mine for ages and I finally, finally started doing it, so I'm happy about that. Of course, read 30 books and I also want to be more consistent with my socials. So posting a video once a week, every single Monday. So subscribe if you want to see another video from me on Monday and I want to post more short content and on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me there if you want to see more from me. Those are my goals. Feel free to share your goals for the year down below. Maybe even just like your reading goal for the year if you have one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give me a like if you did. I don't know why I did that. It's... <laughs> and I will see you on Monday for another video. Bye.